because I signed up for this odd box thing. You know the odd box? Yeah, I do, yeah. With like, you, you, you sign up and they send you one key veg. And then I fucking, I signed up and then I opened the front door, fucking Michael Schumacher was there. <laughs> That's him saying hello. <laughs> Been doing Instagram food stuff for like three years, coming up four maybe. Where did you get the name? What What Willie? Well, my name's Will, mm -hmm. and some people call me Willie. Yeah. So I thought, what Willie Cook? What Willie is a game I play with my wife and her brothers. Is it? Yeah, I've never won. <laughs> and your whole thing is you make recipes, not stress recipes. Yes. Have you ever thought about doing less recipes? <laughs> Sort of um, recipes for fat people. Yeah. It's the same, just a bit less. It's just a smaller portion. A bit less. Yeah. yeah. I, it's funny you say that. No, I haven't, but now. Yeah. Recipedos. <laughs> just cut a hole out in the middle of a dairy Lunchable. <laughs> you know, like the popcorn trick? You know the popcorn trick? Yeah. You ever done this? You go to the cinema with your wife or whatever, uh, and you, you, you cut a hole in the bottom of, bottom of the popcorn. Yeah. Right? And then, and then just as the film starts, you put it on the, the lap of the guy next to you. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, she's not, she's not on the wife, she doesn't know what's going on. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Clueless, you know? Yeah. What sort, what sort of film would, would it be uh, It was Cars 2. <laughs> People can be quite intimidated by cooking certain things. So sometimes that's a stressful experience for people, I mm -hmm. guess. I've been doing stress recipes. Have you? Yeah. Uh, you want to hear one of my stress recipes? I would. Uh, Loose light fitting, length of rope, dodgy stool, little suicide note as garnish. Um, what is it that you think you do that cuts through so much? I think it's just the uh, the stupid voiceovers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, yeah. the silly words. I think you say words funny. Right? That's that's a big part of it. you pronounce words. Like if I was to say a word like carrot, yeah, you'd say carrot. Yeah. yeah. Or if I said spring onion, you'd say spring onion. Yeah, I'm well. just curious, how would you pronounce the um, the name of this West African country? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Niger? All right, mate, I'd probably just say Chad, but um, <laughs> uh, Being on Instagram, having a platform, hmm. do you think you have any responsibility when it comes to like social causes? Sometimes, depends if it takes my fancy. Right, like for example, there was this huge storm uh, a couple of years ago uh, during the Black Lives Matter summer about posting a black, a black square. Mm, mm. Did you post a black yeah, square? Yeah, I did, you did, yeah. See, I got confused and I posted a photo of Neil deGrasse Tyson, um, which apparently was, was the wrong kind of square. Uh, so I took it down and I put one up of Lizo from Newsround. Yeah. Um, but but then I got, have you heard what he, he did? Lee's over news round. What did he do? He made one of his backing dancers eat a banana <laughs> out of um, some sex worker's vagina. I didn't hear about that. No, didn't you? No. I didn't even know he was touring. <laughs> do you think cooking is getting more politically correct? Maybe a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to make jollof rice looking like this and then just fuck it up, you know. Mm. You've got to, kind of got to be careful when you're cooking foods that mean a lot to people, I suppose. I, mean, I just mean in the language, you know, like you can't say foodie anymore. Can you? No, now you've got to say food syndrome. <laughs> Feels like uh, the branding of food to men, it's got all kind of, sort of filthy and weird recently. Well, just meat, you know, meat and, and beards, that's like... D dirty, everything's dirty. Yeah, it's a bit it's weird. Dirty burger. Yeah. Nasty fries. Yeah. Shitty pants porridge. <laughs> Why can't I just eat? Why has everything got to be filthy? Yeah. I read somewhere that you don't like baked beans. I didn't used to like baked beans. Now that, that's very surprising because you dress like someone with special needs. <laughs> Polish deli around the corner from me, and they have those like pierogies, the little dumplings. Mm. They're nice. I'd say Polish food's probably my least favourite. I think that's got to be one of the worst cuisines. Ima uh, imagine these poor people, they're in the death cabs, right? And they, they, but they're freed and they come home and they go, honey, I've been in Treblinka for seven, for six years or whatever. Yeah. I'm, look at me, I'm skin and bones. Yeah. I've missed the home comforts. I can't wait for a home cooked meal. What's for dinner? Oh, it's either uh, cream cabbage or cabbage and vinegar. 
Christ, send me back. <laughs> At least in Belson, we could fucking smell what the guards were eating. <laughs> Why do you think the internet loves chefs so much? Oh, I just think everyone eats, you know? Everyone, everyone needs to know how to make something mm. or everyone would just be getting takeaways the whole time and then people would be fat. Like, who's that, you know, the disabled guy who got his hand uh, caught in a pasta machine, you know? That? The chef? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's his name? I can't the remember. Fuck, the, you, know, the, you know what I mean? With the salt. Oh, him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nuz, Nuzret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should see how he does pepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of that guy. I, yeah, I don't know what all the sus fuss is about. Yeah. It's just salt. Yeah. He's a... I don't fucking use salt. No? No. You put salt on your food? Yeah. There's a myth. It doesn't, doesn't add anything. I don't use salt at all. What do you I don't use? use salt at all. I ask me what I put on every dish I make. What do you put on every dish you make? Salad cream. <laughs> every dish. <laughs> Sweet or savory. <sighs> And you can never, you can never have too much. <laughs> Fuck salt, bae. I'm salad cream, bae. All right. I went to the Women's World Cup final. Did you? Got off with one of the players. <laughs> In my defence, I thought she was lean or messy. But anyway. <laughs> Can I have one of these? Please. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, our sponsor, these are Heroes and Heretics, it's a whiskey seltzer. Right. So it's, it's whiskey um, mixed with, with water. So it's basically whiskey for girls, yeah. or water for men. Uh, how has becoming big on social media affected your love life? You know, is there a, is there a wet pussy cook out there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's big grud. <laughs> Say it's Valentine's Day, you're cooking for your, your girlfriend, what do you make? Mm, spaghetti carbonara. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I make my wife on our anniversary every year? Tell me. P and C. What's that? Prunes and jams. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ever been to Switzerland? Switzerland? Yeah. Uh, no. I took my nan to uh, Dignitas, but then, um, Christ, he found out how much it costs. Left straight away and just tipped her in a canal. <laughs> uh, didn't really work because um, she survived and then I got done for fly tipping. So <laughs> right. Had to go again. Then I, fucking, then I took my wife, but, um, but they didn't have enough poison, so they had to transfer her to Bignitas. They just slammed a wrecking ball into her head. <laughs> that didn't work. In the end, they just shoved her in the Hadron Collider, but <laughs> she just came out stronger than ever. <laughs> it's funny how we have this sort of... I feel like chefs are very zeitgeisty now. They're almost kind of modern-day philosophers, aren't they? Because I saw this... I was on Instagram the other day, and I, um, I saw this quote. It was a, it was a picture of um, you know, Anthony Bourdain. Yeah. Quote, it's an amazing quote. Eat at a local restaurant tonight. Get the cream sauce. Have a cold pint at four o'clock in a mostly empty bar. Go somewhere you've never been. Listen to someone you may have nothing in common with. Order the steak rare. Eat an oyster. Have an agroni. Have two. Be open to a world where you may not understand or agree with the person next to you, but have a drink with them anyways. Eat slowly. Tip your server. Check in on your friends. Check in on yourself. Enjoy the ride. Mm. And I guess if that doesn't work, then you just kill yourself. <laughs> Wise words. <clears throat> Let's do some kids jokes. <laughs> the fucking... you like, you like, we get kids to um, write into the show. Yeah. Um, there you go, you read that one out. From Lola age six, how do you make an Italian man come? I don't know, ask his grandma. Just like Nonna used to suck it. Are you good at maths? Do you like maths problems? We've got someone who wrote in with a maths problem. Sam and Polly are flying to America. 
Mm. If Sam's flight leaves at 8 a.m. traveling at 300 miles an hour and Polly's flight leaves at 8.30 a.m. traveling at 400 miles an hour, who arrives first? Uh, uh, Polly. Sam. Polly's flight crashed into the World Trade Center. <laughs> <laughs> Women pilots. The first plane was terrorist, but the second one was just Polly. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to reverse. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't until the second plane that we knew it was a woman driver. <laughs> oh.